Hey Vsauce, I'm Jake, and if you've played Injustice Gods Among Us, you know how awesome it is to be Superman and punch people into space. But what if he were to hit you in real life? What would happen if someone who is able to lift 200 quintillion tons with one hand, power the sun, or my favorite, punch dimensions apart, were to punch you? And this brings up an interesting idea. Superman's, or really any fictional character's power, is completely determined by whoever's writing them. So he went from being able to leap tall buildings in a single bound, to going the speed of light or faster. In this theory, no matter how strong Superman is, there is one universal law of physics that he can't break, that nothing with mass can achieve, traveling the speed of light. So we will put him 1% below that 299,792,458 meter per second limit at 99% the speed of light. So you are unfortunately about to fight the Man of Steel, who in this case will not be restraining himself. If his fist has an average mass of 300 grams and it's moving at 99% the speed of light, it would have a total energy of about 190 quadrillion joules, which is equivalent to 45 megatons of TNT, or over 2,800 times more powerful than the nuclear bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Throwing just one punch at near the speed of light with that much energy would burn around 45 trillion calories, which is equivalent to almost 82 billion Big Macs. Now you have one of the largest bombs ever, condensed into a fist, and aimed at your face. What happens when he releases that punch? Well, this is when it gets incredibly cool, or incredibly hot, since the energy being released by Superman's fist would be around 80 trillion Kelvin, which is 5 million times hotter than the core of our sun. It takes about one cent a second for the light that hits your retina to then be processed by the brain. So since the punch is traveling at near the speed of light, it would only take 3.4 nanoseconds for the fist to get to you. So you literally wouldn't see it coming. But what we can see from the fist's perspective, since it's going 296 million meters per second, is that time is practically frozen. All the particles in the air, the oxygen, the nitrogen, are just suspended in time. Superman's hand is hitting them with so much energy that it creates nuclear fusion. Gamma rays explode and creates an explosion that the Earth has never seen. A giant fireball engulfs the surrounding area and a blast wave shoots out, shattering windows, structures, and rips trees out of the ground. There might be fictional characters with more powerful punches, but at this point, when it comes to you still existing, it doesn't matter. Superman wouldn't just knock the wind out of you, oh no, he would knock the atoms out of you. His fist has pretty much become a particle beam. At 7 billion electron volts, it's more powerful than the Jefferson Lab's particle accelerator in Virginia. The atoms that made up you would be completely disintegrated. You'd be liquefied at the atomic level. You'd turn into fundamental particles in quark-gluon plasma, which is what was created right after the Big Bang. And from all this energy, new particles and antiparticles would form. So out of your unfortunate destruction, something new, something we might have never even seen before, could be created. To visualize the explosion, we can use Nuke Map to see what a 45 megaton bomb would look like in terms of sheer damage. But what we can't really show is that the damage from Superman's punch would look more like a traffic cone, with a beam shooting out from where his fist landed, destroying everything in its path and creating an explosion all around him. It would leave a crater almost one kilometer in diameter and 221 meters deep. So how close could you or I get to Superman's strength? My friends ASAP Science break down strength muscle growth and how superhuman strength might be more obtainable than ever before. So don't piss off Superman, and as always, Thanks for watching.